Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. In this video, we will learn about defuzzification to crisp sets, specifically using lambda cut method. We will also see how the same method can be extended to fuzzy relations along with examples. Finally, we will study the properties of lambda cut sets. So, let's start our lecture. A lambda cut set A lambda is a crisp set formed out of a fuzzy set A where A lambda is equal to set of x where membership value of x is greater than or equal to lambda. Now one thing I like to highlight here is that A lambda is a crisp set derived from its parent fuzzy set A. That is A lambda is not a fuzzy set. Okay. Let us take an example to understand this better. Consider a discrete fuzzy set A defined on the universe X equal to set of R, S, T, U and V. Now we can reduce this fuzzy set into many lambda cut crisp sets. For instance, if we set lambda is equal to 1, then A lambda is equal to A1 is equal to simply set of V. This is because only mu a of v is greater than or equal to 1 and our lambda here is 1. However, if we set lambda equal to poi n4, then a poi n4 is equal to set of u and v. This is because mu a of u is greater than or equal to poi n4 and mu a of v is greater than or equal to poi n4. I hope that all of you understood the idea. As a homework, try to find the crisp sets when lambda is equal to poi n2 and lambda equal to poi n8. Let me know your answers in the comments. Next, let us learn a few properties of lambda cut sets. First property is that a0 is equal to x where x is the universal set. That is, when lambda is equal to 0, all the elements in the universe x are part of the lambda cut set A0. Next property is, fuzzy set A union fuzzy set B, the whole lambda is equal to A lambda union B lambda. Please note that these two are crisp sets while these two are fuzzy sets. Okay. Then we have Fuzzy set A intersection fuzzy set B the whole lambda is equal to A lambda intersection B lambda. Next is lambda cut of complement of fuzzy set A is not equal to complement of A lambda except when lambda is equal to 0.5. Lastly we have for any lambda less than or equal to alpha where 0 less than or equal to alpha less than or equal to 1, a alpha is a subset of a lambda. Let us now take an example to show these properties. Consider two fuzzy sets a and b defined on the universe x which is a set of a, b, c, d, e and f. Ok, so let's see the first property a0 equal to x. We know that fuzzy set a is equal to 1 by a plus poi n3 by b plus poi n2 by c plus poi n7 by d plus poi n9 by e plus 0 by f. The reason why we added f is because f is a member of universe x but since f is not a member of fuzzy set A, its membership value in A is 0. Ok, so A0 is defined as set of x for which membership value of x in fuzzy set A is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, A0 includes A as it has a membership value greater than or equal to 0 in fuzzy set A. Similarly, B, C, D and E are members of the crisp set A0. 
ഈവൻ എഫ് ഇസ് എ മെമ്പർ ഓഫ് ലാംഡ കട്ട് സെറ്റ് എ സീറോ ബിക്കോസ് ബൈ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ എ സീറോ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഹൂസ് മെമ്പർഷിപ്പ് വാല്യൂസ് ആർ സീറോ ഓൾസോ നൗ ഇഫ് യു സി എ സീറോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ സെയിം ആസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സൽ സെറ്റ് എക്സ് ദേർ ഫോർ എ സീറോ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് സി ദ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഫസി സെറ്റ് എ യൂണിയൻ ഫസി സെറ്റ് ബി ദ ഹോൾ ലാംഡ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എ ലാംഡ യൂണിയൻ ബി ലാംഡ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് മെമ്പർഷിപ്പ് വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് എലമെൻറ്റ് എക്സ് ഇൻ ഫസി സെറ്റ് എ യൂണിയൻ ഫസി സെറ്റ് ബി ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ബൈ മാക്സിമം ഓഫ് മ്യൂ എ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ആൻഡ് മ്യൂ ബി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ദോ A union B is given by 1 by A plus 0.3 by B plus 0.9 by C plus 0.7 by D plus 0.9 by E. Let us set lambda is equal to 0.5 for this example. So, ഫസി സെറ്റ് എ യൂണിയൻ ഫസി സെറ്റ് ബി ദ ഹോൾ ലാംഡ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫസി സെറ്റ് എ യൂണിയൻ ഫസി സെറ്റ് ബി പോയ ഫൈവ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എ സി ഡി ആൻഡ് ഇ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് സി വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ പോയ ഫൈവ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ഡി ആൻഡ് ഇ Similarly, we can find B.5 as A, C, D and E. Now, if you take the union of lambda cut sets A.5 and B.5, we have A.5 union B.5 equal to A, C, D, E. That is A.5. simply equal to fussy set A union fussy set B the whole lambda. So we have shown this property also in example. In similar fashion you can also show the third property using this example. Next let us see the fourth property. We know that membership value of EX in the complement of fussy set A is equal to 1 minus membership value of x in fussy set a so complement of fussy set a is equal to 0 by a plus 0.7 by b plus 0.8 by c plus 0.3 by d plus 0.1 by e plus 1 by f setting lambda equal to 0.8 we get a complement of 0.8 is equal to set of c and f now now finding a point 8 we have set of e therefore complement of a point 8 is equal to set of a b c d and f you can see that this is not the same as this hence we showed the fourth property also using the example as a small exercise you can repeat this example using lambda equal to 0.5 and see if this property is still valid let me know your answers in the comments lastly we have the property for any lambda less than or equal to alpha where zero less than or equal to alpha less than or equal to 1 a alpha is a subset of a lambda in this example let us set lambda equal to 0.5 and alpha equal to 0.8 then a 0.5 is equal to set of a d and e and a point 8 is equal to set of a and e here you can clearly see that a point 8 is a subset of 
a poi and phi let us now move on to the next topic which is lambda cut for fuzzy relations similar to lambda cut method for fuzzy sets we can define lambda cut procedure for fuzzy relations consider a fuzzy relation r defined in the universe x y then this fuzzy relation can be converted to a lambda cut crisp relation by the definition r lambda equal to set of ordered pairs x y where the membership value of ordered pair x y in the relationship r is greater than or equal to lambda let us take an example to understand this better consider the fuzzy relation r defined as this then for lambda equal to poi and 7 r poi and 7 is equal to 11010111010111001 and 01001 that is wherever the membership value is greater than 0.7 we replace it with 1 and wherever the membership value is less than 0.7 we replace it with 0 i hope this is clear for you now just like lambda cut sets lambda cut fuzzy relations also obey similar properties we defined earlier that is r0 is equal to e where e is the universal relation then we have fuzzy relation r union fuzzy relation s the whole lambda is equal to r lambda union s lambda fuzzy relation r intersection fuzzy relation s the whole lambda is equal to r lambda intersection s lambda complement of fuzzy relation r the whole lambda is not equal to r lambda complement and finally for any lambda less than or equal to alpha where zero less than or equal to alpha less than or equal to 1 r alpha is a subset of r lambda i suggest you to familiarize these properties by performing it on an example like we did earlier that's all for this lecture in the next video we will learn about fuzzification to scalars if you have any doubts in this lecture please feel free to ask them in the comments either me or some other viewer will surely help you out Also if you found this lecture useful please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel thank you for watching properly and have a great day